the nether, a dangerous realm not designed for life. But one man found himself trapped here and had to survive it for 100 days. With endless discoveries and many near-death experiences, we learn to conquer this realm and defeat powerful foes that rule it. This is the story of how it goes down. A lot happens that builds up to a final boss fight, so be sure to watch till the end to see that. Let's get started. Day zero, I start in a withered forest. Hey guys. It, oh, never mind. Those mushrooms are being guarded by a wither skeleton. As per usual, the first thing I need to go do is go gather resources. Now you can see here, these trees aren't real trees. They're made of rock. So I need to go find uh, trees that are made of wood. So I bolt to the nearest dwarf forest I see over in the in the distance. As soon as I arrive, one of the first things I find is a bastion stronghold. This is actually really good because there's some good loot in these things. So I go and gather some resources first and I come back to attempt to do this later. All right, let's get our basic stone tools. As I'm mining cobble and getting the final things I need to go wade that bastion, I actually come across another structure. And I have no idea what this thing is, but it does end up being very dangerous. Wait, what is that? What is that? <laughs> what am I looking at? I just realized we can actually give ourselves golden armor right now, just so those guys don't attack us. And that's what I go do. I go grab some golden armor real quick so I can go invade whatever this structure is. I want to try to cheese this dungeon and open this. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, oh my. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I'm just being I'm just being killed. Oh, what is this? Oh, I have no idea what that was. Somehow out of sheer luck, I survived that and the thing stops attacking me. I have no idea what that was. It was invisible. I see him throughout this entire playthrough. They're scary, but yeah, I save that structure for later. Okay, yeah, there is a chest right there, and there's actually no brutes there right now. So we could probably dig through, pop in, loot chest, then pop out. <laughs> That's the plan. So with nothing but some gold armor and a stone pickaxe, I make my way all the way to the Bastion Stronghold. I do this extremely cautiously because I know these things are very dangerous, and I'm literally not wearing armor, basically. So I cautiously make my way around dig my way through the mountain into where the chests are located. Now I hear brutes and uh, piglins all around me, so I cautiously cover up all possible entrances where they come in when, before I open the chest. And man, I find some really good loot in here. Diamond shuffle. Okay, okay. Oh, damn. That's not bad. Wow. What? I just find a diamond pig. <laughs> Day one. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna block off all attempts to kill me. It should be good, but we're going to open it. We're, gonna, we're just going to plop everything in here for now. Oh, ancient debris. Okay, no, we're do, we're, we're, we're off to a phenomenal start. You know what? What even makes this better? If we just take the chests. We can just take them. Chests are expensive. They take a lot of wood to make. We're doing phenomenal right now. We grabbed them. We're in. We're now out. Boom. Bada bang. Easy. The sheer luck I have experienced finding this diamond pickaxe has put this playthrough off to a beautiful start. As for diamonds are going to be one of the hardest things to find while being in the nether. Having this diamond pickaxe now gives me access to ancient debris. Getting this on the first day is just insane RNG. So what I do is I go back through the rest of the Bastion Stronghold and attempt to get the rest of the chests. As you can see, I'm playing this extremely carefully, being a little greedy, but I know if I place my blocks right and have a way out, should be fine. Oh, diamond leggings. Well, uh, Curse of Vanishing, let's put that back. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a little lucky that nobody's around and breaking huh okay we want to block off this path all right all right okay i think we should leave now we are really stretching our luck here let's grab some more wood we're going to need it oh, what's... oh it's one of those things again oh. <laughs> this game wants to kill me jeez louise oh my oh my Hello. You know what? I'm going for the chest. We're just we're tunneling to the chest. I hear them. They're, they're right above me. Oh. Oh shoot. That is so much health. <laughs> Good. We can grab this. Mending. Wow. That was worth it. That was another diamond pickaxe. <laughs> what? And we should get out of here. We should go down that other valley. For the rest of day two and all of day three, I do resource gathering. I gather building blocks to make it easier to navigate around the nether. I grab soul sand. I grab valuable ores such as gold, lapis, 
and this other ore called Sisisonite. It's used uh, kind of like iron in the overworld. It's a little bit better. You could think of it as being between iron armor and diamond armor. So I gather some of that and save it for later. Now I'm using armor I find in these dungeon chests because they're pretty good. They're enchanted. A lot of it's iron uh, and chain mail. So I use that for now. At the end of day three, this is what my inventory looks like. It looks pretty good. I'm ready to move on and do a little bit of exploration. See, I would be more confident if I knew what I was up against. But I, the two times I've encountered these things, I have not seen it. I have just taken damage. I really wanted to see what this thing was about, so I decided to go back to this mysterious structure. It ends up being pretty interesting and holding even a little bit of lore that catches my attention later on. I don't know how I feel about this. Hello, anybody? Is there anything here? Why was I attacked last time? What was it? Was it a fan? Oh, really? Oh, look at this. There's like a story being told here. These, uh, the piglins are put on, uh, put on spikes here. Okay, so this is where they get captured. Wow. Okay. So there's like another enemy here. Something. There's nobody here. Diamonds. I'll take it. Yeah, baby. No complaints here. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Oh. You see that? What is this? They're invisible. I'm being attacked by invisible enemies. What is this? This is turned into a horror game. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm taking it. What is it? Oh, I see it up there. It's that smoke. Oh, I got him. Take that. Aha. That's right. I'm a ghost hunter right now. I'm not scared of them anymore. They aren't so tough. With my newfound confidence, I decide to loot the rest of this mysterious structure. Now in the center, I realize there might be something inside whatever this machine is. So I decide to climb up and I do find something rather interesting. What is that? What's going on over here? Is this stone generator? He's so advanced. <laughs> okay, this place is truly cursed. What's going on? <laughs> What's the name on that? This is when I start to realize there might be a bigger picture here. Seeing a caged pigman, ghosts that haunt the area, and what seems to be a massive busted coffin all indicates there is something else to find. Maybe this place belongs to an ancient people or a mysterious cult. Or maybe it contained a dangerous creature that is now on the loose. I'm clearly not alone. At the end of day five, I set off, now with a mission to find out more about this world. My journey first takes me to an old castle, maybe an ancient kingdom. This could be my first step to getting the answers about this world. So with the little gear I have, I go forward and raid this castle. I spent a total of 16 days here. It was extremely dangerous, filled with armored warriors of a pig-like race. They didn't want anything to do with me, but I had to go in and find out what I could. So I go forth and fight my way through. And here is how it happened. Okay, let's see. Where's the way in? Let's check over here, maybe. What? I just hear a firework go off. Oh my god. What's going on? What in the hell? What? No, no, no. We're not doing this. We're, uh, we're going to change plans here. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, we're just going to dig in right here. We're going to make a little, like, hut here. Let's take out our chests, put them down, and we'll kind of empty out our stuff. <laughs> we have so much stuff. Oh my... He's in full iron armor. This is going to be so much fun. Hello, guys. I'm here to single-handedly claim this entire castle. Okay, you know what else we want? What, uh, what else we want? We want, like, another escape tunnel. Just in case, right? She's in there when you're... There's three of them with iron armor and their potion effects. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of, like, corridors and stuff. They'll be really useful in here, I think. We got to be so careful because our armor is not good enough for any of this, I don't think. Oh, they found, they found me. Did she just eat a golden apple? Oh, 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 oh. What is this? What was that? See, this is why we did this. This is exactly why we did this. Oh. <laughs> what? This is nonsense. Guys, we're like players. This is so cool. Just ate a golden apple. 
you eating a golden apple? Put your pickaxe away. Put that away. Oh my god. He's spleefing me. <laughs> He's spleefing me. <laughs> what, you got an elytra too? <laughs> Stop. Yeah, he is just using a regular old sword. That regular old sword took away like all my hearts. I don't think I'm ready for this. This might be this is this is this has been a terrible idea. You out of golden apples, buddy? Right. Oh, that is terrifying. I wonder if we can pour lava on him. Now they shouldn't be able to mine uh the obsidian. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build this out of obsidian. Watch, they're gonna pull you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna pull out a fire resist potion. They're just gonna pull one out and drink it. What is up? You guys have a really nice place here. Oh, oh. That's some good loot. Hey, that's some really amazing loot. He's dying. Yes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> what you gonna do about the lava? Okay, we have a strat. <laughs> a god apple. I need good armor. Anybody in here? Oh, found one. Hey there. Right, we're gonna run. They're very big brain. Okay, kill them. Ah! Ooh! Okay, we have infiltrated this section. I really hope they don't respawn. Okay, we're going to start in layer one. We're not going to change levels. We will stay in layer one and try to clear out layer one. What's this way? Oh my god! I can't fool netherite armor! <laughs> Full netherite armor, you say? Oh, that's not netherite armor. Okay. I wonder what they do. What's what's their fancy jutsu? Okay. I see. They're spellcasters. Okay, these guys can't mine through blocks. Okay, these guys are a little better, but it looks like they drove fire resist potions, unfortunately. Hopefully they don't have endless. Good so far, honestly. Oh, did you throw an interpearl? No, no, you can't be doing things like that, pal. You can't be doing things like that. <laughs> what? Okay. <sighs> okay, we got him. Tattered. It's a book. Strange pipes, not known, built, danger, blaze and soul, attack speed. This is exactly what I was looking for. Information about this world. It hints towards some dangerous pipe structure. Additionally, it talks of blazes. Unfortunately, that's all I can decipher. Either way, I am now a step closer to solving the mystery of this land. For now, I put the book away and finish exploring this castle. Exploring this place, though, is extremely high risk. Uh, one wrong move, and I'm basically dead. So I'm going to stop exploring that. Now that I have some enchantment books that give me prot 3, we're going to go find rubies. Because now we have a uh, netherite pickaxe because there was netherite in there. So let's go get some rubies and we'll come back. <laughs> For the rest of day 10 and all of day 11, I go off to go find rubies. It takes much longer than expected, but I eventually find some in a warp forest. Pick a boo. Nope. Nope. Oh, yes. Give me. Give me more. Oh, there's more right there. Yes, it is the biome. Why? That's so random. We got 29. That actually might be enough for what we need. Armor piece, leggings, the shoes. We can carry two helmets. If we fight a boss, we're gonna want we're gonna want the the ruby fire. Definitely. What I mean here is I'll normally be wearing a golden helmet to not aggro piglins. But when I do need the extra armor, I'll be putting on the ruby helmet. Either way, on day 12, I get my ruby armor. I save it for later for enchanting and head back to the castle. On day 13, I make it back and prepare to finish the raid. We made it. We're back home. All right, the time has come. Time to continue infiltrating once we get our armor set up here. See, how much does it cost? Oh, it's cheap too. And then we'll go this here. Oh, baby. I already feel the power. With my enchanted ruby armor and my newly forged netherite knockback two sword, I head back into the castle. I spend about another 10 days raiding this castle. So here are the highlights of how that all went down. Hey there. You got an enchantment. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's test the armor. Oh, it does no damage. Yes. He still has so much health. Get out of here. Ooh. 
That looks like a trap. <laughs> I've seen a trap that, that looks like one right there. Oh yeah, that is so a trap. What, what's going on here? What is this? How does this work? Is there TNT under here? Okay, redstone ore. Breaking that will turn off, thank you. Okay, oh. yep, oh my God. That almost killed us. That was close, that was a close one. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? You see that? You guys almost got me. We got it. I'll take everything you guys have. Sorry. 360. Oh, bam. Bam. Oh, you have an axe. You're a brute. If he hit me, it would have caused withering effect, I think. The next uh, going up is the next layer. All right, let's go. All right, there's one right there. And it's uh, this, this one with the axe. A little bit more scary. Yeah, we killed him, though. Oh, okay. Oh, run. They throw damage potions and poison. That's going to bypass all armor effects. Okay. They're going sickle mode. They're all wild up now. You guys you want to like stop taking healing? What, 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 what you want to do with this right there? Aha! Those things are very difficult to kill. We just have a giant block of ice. Mm. Got him. Oh, there's wait, what? The frozen piglin. It's pretty cool. I love this. Hey. What's up? Oh, I'll about to try it. <laughs> he hit the golden apple. 360. Got him. 360 again. 720. Boom, boom, bam, bam. Let's grab our uh, netherrack that's hiding back here. I will take this. Thank you. There's two of you over there. Can I just snipe you? Ow. You guys really threw that pretty far. Oh, wow. We have one down. No? Come on. Yeah, we got him. Oh, check it all out. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. It's too much for us to even carry. Elixir of Undying? What is this? You know, there's a boss fight that we got to do at the end of this. I was really worried about it. Now I'm not. <laughs> we got some serious loot. That and these golden apples. That's our, like, that's our backup. What's over here? Ooh, lots of gold. Armor. Okay, okay. I'm liking it. Nobody's around to stop me. Taking it. This is a dead end. So let's run this way. Uh, oh. Oh, hey guys. Oh, they're digging through. Ah! Run, run. Oh, stop spleefing me, please. <laughs> please stop. <laughs> no. Okay, only he came. That's good. Spleefing me. Not fair. What do you want to do? I haven't seen the leather one before. I'll fight this one. This one ain't bad. One shot. Is this just a quartz room? Oh, this loops all the way back around over here. This place is just endless. There's so much to explore. Like, nobody's up here. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh! You, you are speed. You are speed. Stop. Oh my gosh. Oh. He almost killed me. Okay, I gotta be careful. I'm not invincible. He even staggered my shield. Oh! 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 Okay. We're bailing. We're bailing. Die! Nope. Why are these guys so tough? You're tough for literally no reason. Okay, you know what? I don't care. I'm running. I'm going home. They're, they're too tough. I went through all my golden apples. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to set up an enchanting, enchanting table. Okay, so what if we did a book? Oh, check it out. Sharpness 2. Perfect. Okay. 9.5 damage. Can we get another one? Sharpness 1. And then, can we get another sharpness 1? Oh, baby. We'll combine these. Yeah. Okay. Now we're, now we're talking. <laughs> now we're doing a little bit better. Hey there. What's up? That's right. How many hearts do you do to me? Oh, you do nothing. <laughs> You're weak. You're, oh. Does he drop his armor? Oh, I was hoping he's going to drop his armor. It's the guys in the elytras. Luckily, you have no armor. They do dash pack. That's right. <laughs> oh, uh, he killed himself. Friendly fire. Ooh, another portal. Okay. Oh, whoa. What? <laughs> Sweet. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, okay, that, that's awesome. Oh, we got another one with mending. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of guys down there. Take out the one without the armor. Okay, they're they're all down there. Oh, we got a speed one down there too. Okay, we got to be a little careful about that. 
No, don't, don't just squeeze me. <laughs> they will attack any block in the way. Not hide behind cover. Luckily, he doesn't have a lot of health, I don't think. Him and his infinite health. Move a little much for me. No, I don't really want to fight you. Can you? See, see, see that. <laughs> oh. Oh, I messed up. Oh, damn. This is a good one. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, those guys were zooming. They were zooming. <laughs> Popped out of nowhere. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. Okay, there's one. There's one. Oh, you're, you're a quick boy. Got him. Okay. Oh, stay back. Oh, it went through. Oh no, stay back. I don't, I don't, I don't want to pick up the items. Okay, we're good. Ah! Oh, did he just change weapons? He just switched to another right sword. Bam. Awesome. <laughs> At this point, I was basically done raiding the castle. I run around and take out the last remaining piglins I could and find the last remaining loot that was in any of these uh, unexplored rooms. And by day 22, I started a complete mission and I head back. Okay, now I think that was everything. Alrighty, we did it. Uh, the castle, that was lots of fun. Now let's bask in the glory of all our rewards. We have so much. You know the first thing I wanna do? First thing I wanna do is probably organize everything. Where to do one? So I go ahead and create a bunch of bat packs to put all my loot in. I organize it all nice and neatly, name all the bat packs. It works out really well. It took literally two days to do this because inventory management in this game can sometimes be a, a big job. Additionally, I use all the gold I got from this castle to do piglin trading. Mainly, I'm looking for ender pearls and fire resistant potions. Those are both really big in this playthrough to keep me alive. But at the end of it all, here's what my loot looks like. This was definitely a great run. So now I'll go ahead and continue my adventure. But let's get out of here. We're going to run off and explore in another direction. Here's a quick highlight of the next five days. Nothing too much happens, just some basic looting and finding some cool structures to explore. But at the end of the five days, I do find a new clue about this world. Hey guys. Hey. Yo. What is up? Comrades. Greg, run. They're coming. Yeah. Oh, there is. There, that's the one with the bow. Got him. Yes. Ooh, we got a bastion. I'm going to drink another fire resist potion. We're going in. Why are there so many of them? <laughs> okay, those guys are too far away to pick that up. Oh, another golden apple. Let's go. More iron blocks. Uh, oh, that's new. Village. Whoa, go kick. That's right. What you want to do? That one right through your head. Get out of here. Weakling. Okay. So just don't use inventory basically while you're on one of these. Oh, check it out. Nice place you guys got going on here. There's loot for me to take. Oh, check it out. Oh, I'll definitely take the wood. Uh, I'll take the iron. Loot. Thank you. Was that it? I think that was it though. Oh, we got two new biomes. Okay. Craig, I might want to leave you here. These two biomes scare me a little bit. I believe gas spawn in this one. Stay put. All right, this is all brand new to me. I like this biome. This is super cool. Oh, what is that? Hold on. You know what? We're going over there instead. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, hey. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. <laughs> hey. Oh, my. <laughs> Whoa. What? I've never seen this before. Uh, we're going to go into there, I think. What's in here? This is just an empty place with chests. There's not a lot in here. <laughs> They don't know what to do. Oh, oh, whoa, that was some loot. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're going down. Cool, that was it. I don't trust these corridors. What is this? All right, is this a trap? Are there any observers hiding around here? Oh, yes, there was. See that? We good? All right, one diamond. Oh, all right, that, that's a little better. You had a lot of health. I've hit you like four times now. <laughs> you want to die yet? No? Got him. Oh, oh, this horse has a lot of hearts. Strider. Actually, because he looks so cool, we'll call him Ghost Strider. Let's go. We're going to a different biome. Strider's dying. We're going to lose Strider. We got to get out of this biome. It's no longer safe. Speed, Strider. You are speed. Go, 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 go. Strider, you need to jump. You need to jump, Strider. You need to jump, Strider. No, Strider. No, Strider. Run, Strider. Go, go. Eat this golden apple. Eat it. No, Strider. Uh. 
desert place. All right, what is that? <laughs> what are we looking at? <laughs> All right, I guess this we found the next place to explore, huh? We just found like a desert temple. It's so cool. Oh my, what am I looking at? I don't trust any of this. This is this is like a boss room. Alter a nether star below to summon the inferno. Worthy statue to this blaze. This must have been what the first book hinted at. A biome of enhanced places which now seems to have a boss room I must defeat, which can only be summoned by another star, it seems. So it looks like we found our next goal. We have a boss we're fated to defeat. I definitely don't feel like I'm strong enough to fight this boss, so I'm gonna go off, prepare, and get stronger for this fated battle. Also, one last thing to note, the book did talk about mysterious pipe structures. That doesn't seem to be here. Maybe we'll find that later. So I go off and set forth for the next 21 days. Yeah, we gotta kind of keep our distance from this castle, I feel like. Let's go claim the smaller one. How's my armor doing? Okay, not very good, not very good. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. <laughs> After a long journey, I finally found something at large. For the next seven days, I explore this massive church-like building. Also, on day 49, I lost my large backpack. I accidentally traded it with a piglin. If you look at the footage here, bro just absorbs it. Never to be seen again. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is what I lost. Kind of sucks, but not progress hindering as I still got all the other backpacks. Anyway, here's a quick highlight of the next seven days. Going in. We made it in. I guess we didn't really make it in <laughs> and this appears to be the entrance oh don't know what that is we're, we're just going to run, run in and hope for the best oh hey guys what is up i got money fatigue i wish i had my strength potions a little, a little cramped in here guys okay we got a one of those things which i don't think are actually normally in the game oh wait our bow is amazing i totally forgot about that and just pick them off from a distance all right easy mm -hmm. yeah, i really hope oh i did not like that at all I heard redstone. <laughs> There's traps in here, man. Yeah, we're gonna stay off of that and just start exploring one layer at a time. Oh, a tome. <gasps> we have a totem of undying. I never thought I was gonna get one of these in the nether. That's a game changer. Screw a shield. We're holding this thing. Hey, guys. Got him. Easy. E. I don't know what that means, but I took the book. I hear growling and I don't know what it is, dude. Oh, there's a lot of you. These guys pick a very weird place to live. I don't know how they sleep at night. Uh, there. This castle is actually absolutely massive. So this is only one. Go check out the rest. Ooh. <sighs> Two is hard to damage. I need protection for like all the way through. <laughs> oh. Okay, we gotta kill him now. <sighs> okay, I got that one. Any more? Got that one. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Those guys are going to be by far the most dangerous enemy. That one. Yeah, I hear him. Got him. I didn't really see any other places to go. Yeah, that. I don't know what that is, and I don't like it. All right, so this is another one that goes outside, huh? There's two more towers over there. So we did these two towers, right? Yeah. 
Oh, it's giving us the mining fatigue, though. There has to be, like, one more, like, final thing. This was kind of anticlimactic. I hear more, though. Where are you at? Oh. Oh, there's a downstairs. Okay. This is more like it. I'm not... That's a... Nope. Get out of there. They hurt. Okay, that's carpet. I don't want to walk on the carpet. Ooh, this is weird down here. I'm not going to go that way yet. Am I walking on gravel? I don't like that at all. I mean, probably like really cautious, but I mean, I don't want to fall to a pit into like nothingness. Hold on. Let's save the red door for another time. Let's check out what's over here. There's a maze. <laughs> okay, we went that way. Nothing. Way back's over there. Check out over here. Okay, so that goes back around. Okay, it all loops around. Got it, got it. I'm gonna get cornered and die in here. It's not safe. So I can't can't do this until I get rid of the mining fatigue. So on edge. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, loops all back around. That's so a trap. I don't I'm not touching that. Yeah, I'm gonna eagle and apple. I might die right here. Might be my death. Yep. Oh my gosh. My heart is racing right now. Has a chance to drop gold and killing any mob. My heart is racing right now. I am low key shaking right now. All right, we did it. We did it. Oh, this is soul sand. Okay. It was a trap of some sort. Someone tells me one of these walls is going to fall down. I'm not going to go in there. I think we're going to go this way instead. Hey guys. Hey, they seem normal. <laughs> Close the door on me. I hate all the sand everywhere, bro. Oh, hey guys. Is that a nether portal? What? What? Where does this go? Over here. Oh, that's a trap chest. No. Give ourselves the absorption. This was junk. <laughs> you trolling me. Hold on. Anything worthwhile on the other side? Oh, there's another chest back there. Wow. And some really good armor. Protection 3, Feather Falling, Fire... Ooh, wow, this is actually some pretty good stuff. This would be a great backup armor set. Alright, so all we have left is this area right here. I hear a lot of footsteps in there. You know what? Oh, he's looking at me. Doesn't know if he should fire or not. Good for me. Chilling, we're chilling. We're doing pretty good. It's an Avoker. Got him. Got that one. Where yet? The fact that they do one and a half hearts of damage is pretty terrifying. It's going deeper. Secret. Oh, okay. This is this is why we uh we did this. Aha! Haha. <laughs> We planned ahead and it paid off marvelous, marvelously. Dude, they were all like hiding in the painting, ready to come out and get us. Calm and relax. Here we go. That that definitely opens. <laughs> and then what we can do is go around over here. Oh. Okay, that was a fire chest. Hey, I see you standing up there. Keep landing. Oh. They do way too much damage. Hey, Wither Skull. I'd love to take that. We gotta remember to come back here and grab that then. I know this is something. This, uh, this clearly opens up. Oh. Okay, it wasn't that much of a puzzle. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we got fire resistance, so let's just take advantage of it, I guess. Oh, it goes down here, huh? Alrighty. Is there any reason to be down here? No, it's just like a sewer type thing. Oh, wait, there's more? Oh, wow. What? What? What is this? Damn, this is... Oh, he's over here. Got him. This is so beyond scary. We're running low on resources. We only have one fire resist potion left. I'm gonna kind of stop using my torches, I think. Here, a ravenger. Oh, man. Our pants, man. Our pants. We need to find an anvil and repair those. Nothing really going on in here. Scaffolding, huh? This is kind of endless. Oh, hey. How you doing? He's confused. That is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> what? So I guess that's the in-game loot for this area. That's so cool. 
Did not like the sound of that. Something's going to happen. Oh. This is it. This is this is where I either make it or I don't make it. One last chug of my coffee. This is a do or die moment. This is definitely a uh, puzzle. Probably all need a point toward now. There are people over there. Um, mm, really sure. Alrighty, make it or die right here. Here we go. They're buffed. They got some really powerful weapons. We're taking them out. Holy wrath. Spawn a spiral of fireballs? What? That is so cool. Okay, so I think this was like the other end, maybe. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh, being safe, you know? Is that what we need to do? Yeah, that was just for that item. All right, we did it. We did it, we did it. Wait a second. Oh, we no longer money fatigue. That means we beat it. That means we did it. Oh shoot, I'm taking this. Oh, we can finally loot the place. All right, let's get out of here. Close it back up. Oh, it was well worth it. Because now what we can do is craft a dark enchanter. For the next couple of days, I loot the rest of this place. I run around and grab anything that I could not have before because of the mining footage. I make sure to grab that wither school as we will be finding one of those here pretty soon. There we go. Let's just pop this stuff in the dump pack. And we had the gold. I don't know if I care to. Huh? Alrighty, let's get out of here. I think we have everything. Let's go back to our base. Ah, home sweet home. On day 62, now that I have emeralds, I craft a dark enchanter. This table allows me to choose the enchantments I want for my armor. But right now it's quite expensive to use, so I hold off and decide I should go and find a place to make a base where I can max out my gear and get situated before fighting the infernal blades. So towards the end of day 63, I finally set off away from this, this hellhole of a biome to go find a new place to call home. Between day 63 and 67, not much happens, just me running around looking for a place. And by day 68, I think I found a good spot to build a house. Ah, dude, the music is amazing. Yeah, what you gonna do, huh? What you wanna do? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'll, I'll help. Take him down. What? I have never seen this. They wobbled on me. Yeah, I like this spot. This is a good spot right here. This is the place. This is high up, easily seen from anywhere. Taken down the crimson tree. Taken down the crimson tree. Because it won't despawn on its own. It really sucks, sucks, sucks. On day 68, I begin building a home and a base of operation. It takes eight days to do this, mainly because I ran out of warp wood, so I had to go out and gather more. I also spent a lot of time organizing my loot and upgrading any gear I could with our new dark enchanter. By day 76, the house was complete. While resting in my new home, I remember back to those books we found so long ago. Someone left those behind, and someone tried to make them unreadable. There are deep secrets behind another, clearly corrupted from something long ago. Not being able to rest, I leave the comfort of my home and go back to that temple, to awaken this creature of fire and hopefully free the land from its influence. After all, this was my calling from the beginning.
this was a very tough fight. Way harder than I expected. I, I thought I was gonna die multiple times fighting the Wither. But now we have the Nether Star. This is what we need to summon the Inferno Blaze. I thought I was done for. <laughs> I thought that was the end. Holy cow. That's the hardest thing I've ever done. All right, well, we did it. There's another race star. Right after defeating the Wither, I immediately went after the Inferno Blaze, but I was overconfident and was forced to retreat during the battle. So I had to spend the next five days to replenish my resources and to get another Nether Star to summon the boss once again, which I do on day 87. On day 88, I defeat this creature of fire and free the nether from its rule. By day 90, I return home. With nothing left to do, I decide it's time to go through that mysterious portal we found so long ago and see if it leads to a better place. But before I leave, I decide I should leave all my best gear behind, along with compasses that lead to my base. I like to believe I'm not the only one who is lost in this realm, and one day my resources may help another. As for me, I travel through that portal and find myself in a land far nicer than before. Go off and live a happy life, never to see the nether again.